As bagpipes played in Marietta, members of the Southeastern Ohio chapters of the Sons of the Revolution celebrated a full presentation of colors. They are honoring the 230th anniversary of the signing of the Northwest Ordinance. Often compared to the Constitution, the ordinance laid the groundwork for what would eventually become Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, and part of Minnesota. I guess in some ways it's kind of a religious feeling when you honor people of previous generations. Supreme Court Justice Judith French was on hand to talk about its constitutional significance. When I look at the document, I find it very aspirational. It's very idealistic. There's one provision that essentially promises people who go to the Northwest Territory peace and prosperity. Marietta was the first permanent settlement in the United States. The Ordinance of 1787 was considered 80 years ahead of its time, outlawing slavery, but there was a catch. It still allowed for slaves to be returned. So it's imperfect, it's not perfect, but what an aspiration. In the main courtroom at the Thomas J. Moyer Ohio Judicial Center, you see a piece of history on the ceiling. You know, sitting on the bench down in our beautiful courtroom, when I look up at the murals on the ceiling, it's the five states that make up the Northwest Territory. I'm Ann Yeager for Court News Ohio.